Nice. to put us all to shame in the middle of it, he just adjusts the glasses. In this video, I spent $2,000 to find out what happens when you take three different pro, and in my mind, legendary drummers from three different regions in the United States and have them record the same song. Oh, and just a spoiler alert, one of the players is Mr. Kenny Aronoff himself. I contacted my friend here in Nashville, Johnny B. Good 89, and I said, hey man, I want a track produced for these drummers to play on. The only thing that we told these players was pop rock in the style of, and we gave them a reference band, the 1975. The next thing was for me to secure the players. So here in Nashville, we have returning reigning champion, Mr. Scott Williamson. Then out of California, we have Mr. Kenny Aronoff. And out of Arizona, we have Steve Gould, a beautiful all around session player. And you might be saying, Steven, I got it, but who all of these guys played with really? I'm glad you asked. And now we've got to introduce the players. First off, we got none other than the legendary Kenny Aronoff repping California. In case you've been under a rock for the past, I don't know how many years and missed who Kenny is and what he's done in the drumming world, he was listed as Rolling number 66 on Rolling Stone's greatest drummers of all time. And I gotta read this because it's like, you can't remember. It's basically just picking artists from the last 30 or 40 years and he's played with them. Um, he joined the John Mellencamp band in 1980, recorded 10 albums and additional touring over a 17 year period. Other artists Artists include the Smashing Pumpkins, Bob Seger, Melissa Etheridge, John Bon Jovi, Elton John, forget about it, Bob Dylan, Rod Stewart, Alanis Morissette, The Rolling Stones, Leonard Skinner, Willie Nelson, Waylon Jennings, Avril Lavigne, John Fogarty, Joe Cocker, I'm gonna have to go get something to drink to finish this, Mick Jagger, Alice Cooper, Meatloaf, Bonnie Raitt, Ricky, Mar uh, Ricky Martin, Santana, Trey Anastasio, Michelle Branch, and so many others. He was also named the number one pop rock drummer and the number one studio drummer for five consecutive years in the Modern Drummer's Reader's Poll. And if that's not enough, in addition, he's played on over 30 Grammy-nominated recordings. He also does DVDs, he does teaching, in-person uh, speaking, forget about. It. Top of the tops, I love Kenny. Next up, we've got Mr. Steve Gould. Rep in Arizona. Some of the artists he's worked with, Matt Kearney, Ben Rector, Sarah Groves, Al City, Sarah Bareilles, Paul Beloche, Mark Martell, Caitlin Smith, Tom House, Carly Rae Jepsen, Jason Gray, Michael Tate, Lauren L. Harris, Cody Fry, Corey Wong, Joel uh, Hanson, Cloud Cold, The Blenders, Honey Dogs, Yuna, uh, and he's also done commercial work for the General Mills Company. Now, in addition to this, he's the lead musical director at Christ Church of the Valley there in Arizona, and he's faculty with the musical departments at Grand Canyon University and Arizona Christian University. I first got the opportunity to see Steve live uh, a couple years ago, I believe it was at the Mercy Lounge here in Nashville when he was uh, here and his snare tone at that show, God, just sick. And our repeat offender, bringing him back from the last episode, we've got Mr. Scott Williamson. Maybe you've forgotten exactly what all Scott has played on. Let me remind you, uh, artists are Alice Cooper, Casting Crowns, Veggie Tales, Danny Gokey, Francesca Battiselli, Michael W. Smith, Gary Chapman, Kix Brooks, FFH, Point of Grace, Reba McIntyre, Amy Grant, Jackie Velasquez, Natalie Grant, Michael English, Blake Shelton, Israel New Breed, Lincoln Brewster, Avalon, Brooks and Dunn, Barlow Girl, Nicole Nordman, For Him, Carmen, DC, Talk. All right, I am so excited. Finally got these tracks back. I cut mine yesterday, sent it off to be mixed, and so I can finally listen to them. That was one of the rules. Nobody could listen to anyone else's track until they were done cutting. Scott Williamson mixed these. He cut his first so that he was done. And then nobody goes back and does a second. We go ahead, get what we think is the song, and then we send that out. So I haven't heard these, and they've been sitting here waiting for me to listen to them. I'm really pumped about it. Let's check out what Kenny's got going on. The sunglasses, I love it. <laughs> I 
So giving it space up front. Still got that kick. Yeah. That snare is so good. Nice space. Choosing to accent some of that bass line. That snare is so nice. space. Oh, nice. Bringing it down. Bringing that kick drum back. Love it. All right, so a couple different ways you can treat this song. Remember, as, as I'll see and you'll see while we go through this, when you have drummers of this caliber working on this level, there's really not a wrong interpretation. There's what does the artist want versus what they thought they should put there, and then it's just how do they build the song. So really great job at the front of this, um, giving it some space, but also driving with that kick drum on too, and he brought that back, and I know, I know two of the breaks. He kept that kick drum driving on two and four. What that does is that keeps the song moving forward even though he's giving space it keeps that song moving forward and then we just got a classic kenny lick right there uh coming out of those hits um and the sunglasses forget about it now we got steve gould i, I have i've have loved this guy's playing for so long he has such a great touch on it i cannot wait to hear his interpretation oh nice nothing up top i love it Really nice touch on the cymbals. Oh! I had on the upbeats. Okay, so something I gotta point out right there while there's a break in the music. Beautiful touch on the cymbals in the studio. That is something that is really hard to come by. That gives the engineer, the, the producer, the, the people that are mixing, it gives them a lot of room to be able to play around with what you're doing. You can see how he's not just smashing into the cymbal as hard as he is on, on the, his snare hand. Really beautiful. Shut up. Shut 
the front door. Tom's. <laughs> the glasses adjustment. Oh! Oh! Ah! So good. So good. Just to put us all to shame in the middle of it, he just adjusts the glasses. Just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm cool. I'm just gonna adjust these glasses. So much, so much goodness in that short little clip. Um, particular, I gotta note, when you're recording just his touch on those symbols and his choice of symbols, absolutely beautiful. His treatment of the hits in that section was beautiful. Coming into those, filling into those, filling out of those, just, such a unique voice in the instrument. The snare sound, killing me, Steve. Mr. Scott Williamson, rep in Nashville, repeat player from the last video. I wanted to bring him back. He's also responsible for all of these mixes. Let's check out what he's got going on. Space up front, I love it. Kick on two and four again. You'd think we all got together and talked about it. The 16th notes. Keeping that kick and snare very straight. Okay, I love it. So in juxtaposition, um, you had Kenny who was following some of what the bass was doing, and Scott is, is really choosing to just kind of split the difference here, play it down the middle, and hold that beat down. So one and three on that kick drum, two and four on that snare drum, really driving it. Um, really nice, really nice. Snare tone is just beautiful. It's a bridge. Ah, getting those accents. Nice. Leaving space. Ah. Oh, nice. I love everything about that take. Driving the song, choosing to just really play a supporting and background role to what's going on. So thinking very much, all of these players, thinking very much about the song, where are we taking this song? Coming out and hitting things whenever he needs to, some nice hi-hat work there in the breaks, but really choose that 16th note pattern really drives this song along really, really well. And now, just so I won't get flamed in the comments for not including my take of it, here's my take of this song. Ooh. 